What is going on guys? Cody here, here to get my WWE Money in the Bank 2024 predictions. Now guys, I haven't done predictions for the last two pay-per-views just because it's really hard to like get into these shows that have like five matches. Plus I work on the weekend so I, I don't get to watch them live to begin with. And so I'm sorry I haven't got to do a predictions video for uh, Clash and Castle and then the king of the ring show i missed both those predictions but money in the bank is one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year if you ask me it's like it's replaced survivor series in the top four you know like it goes easily wrestlemania i actually put the royal rumble above SummerSlam. SummerSlam then money in the bank those are your top four pay-per-views and it has you know big implications throughout the rest of the year you know just that teased in cash and it's always a big moment no matter who's holding the money in the bank briefcase you get excited when that person comes out for a potential cash in and we're going to talk about who we think are going to win these matches right now and one quick note guys if you're not subscribed to me please subscribe like the video share it comment your predictions down in the comment section below so first match on the docket is the intercontinental championship Sami Zayn, the champion defending against braun breaker now guys i have not been into this Sami Zayn run as intercontinental champion if anything the thing i've been excited for is for him to lose like I wanted him to lose to Chad Gable, and I want him to lose to Braun Breaker. I know a lot of people are kind of like, it's too much too soon for Braun Breaker. I'm not in that camp, man. If this guy's going to be the future, push him to the moon. And I saw an idea on Twitter of somebody saying, like, he should just do a classic Goldberg squash, and I would really like that idea. No, I think that's going to happen. No. I think Sami Zayn wins. I don't want him to because, like I said, I'm just not into this run. I really don't think he should have beat Gunther. Not to bash on Sami Zayn or anything, but, I, yeah, I just don't care about this run. And if I had to bet, they will probably do, like, a Fatal 4-Way or something at SummerSlam with Sami Zayn, Ludwig Kaiser, Braun Breaker, and Sheamus. And then that's probably when Braun will lose or will win the Intercontinental Championship, excuse me. Uh, but for now, I don't... I don't I don't think he's going to lose clean. Like, I could definitely see him, like, beating the crap out of Sami Zayn and the referee calling for a disqualification and kind of make it a little more personal, you know, heading into the summer. But, yeah, Sami Zayn, I got a feeling he's going to retain. Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Io Sky, the winner of last year's match. Lyra Valkyria. Tiffany Stratton. Naomi. Zoe Stark. And Chelsea Green. God, that was terrible. Now, with matches like this, like Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, where there's like a bunch of possibilities, I'll give a top three. The person I pick at the number one spot is who I think is going to win, but the other two are just possibilities I could see Triple H going with. So my third possible winner would be Io Sky, just for the story of her going back-to-back -back years. You know, I don't think anybody's ever done that besides Carmella, which... I mean, James Ellsworth won the first match for her, so I don't really know if that counts. But, I mean, I could see EO going back-to-back. -back. Number two, Chelsea Green. It's in Toronto. She's going to be over huge. The only thing is, if Chelsea Green becomes women's champion, I don't think it's going to be for very long. She's on SmackDown, and so if she cashed in on Bayley, I definitely think there's a good story you could tell there. And Chelsea Green has put in a lot of good work since she came back to WWE. But to me, I just don't see it happening. Who I do see winning this match is Tiffany Stratton. She's already wrestled for the belt a couple of times. She's a star in the making. I mean, her main roster run so far, and it hasn't even been like a full year yet. It's barely been six months. It's been perfect. And she will be women's champion by the end of this year. And there's, like, really good potential in her holding on to the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase for a long time. And maybe she becomes the first woman ever to cash in at WrestleMania. But Tiffany Stratton will be Women's Champion. She is going to win Money in the Bank. Get ready for that pink briefcase. And following that up, we got the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. L.A. Knight. <laughs> Drew McIntyre, Carmelo Hayes, Chad Gable, Jey Uso, Andrade. 
So same thing, we'll give a top three. Chad Gable, I think there's a really great story in Gunther winning the World Heavyweight Championship and Chad Gable cashing in. The guy he could never beat for the Intercontinental Championship and he beats him for the World Championship. But this time, he kind of abandons his way of thinking of like hard work and you know like just because you're bigger than me doesn't mean I can beat you instead he takes the cheap way out by cashing in the money in the bank but he can still say hey I finally beat Gunther now that's the least likely option to happen but there's a really great story and you know you could turn Gunther babyface by doing that I think because Chad Gable is a monster heel right now with just the way he's treating the other members of the alpha academy you can't really like chad gable right now so if he cashes in on gunther and gunther gets all pissed off about it i think that could be a really good way to turn gunther babyface for a short time because i mean you look at gunther he ain't ever going to be like a long-term babyface but he can be a short term number two and i was kind of going back and forth between my official pick and jay uso but I'm going to go with L.A. Knight as my number two option. Just because it felt like last year it could have been him. And this year it doesn't feel like that. But it wouldn't shock me just because he's still over, man. And, you know, he just got that big spot on SmackDown with uh, Tyrese Halliburton and Jalen Brunson. I mean, L.A. Knight's still one of the biggest stars they have. And it feels like he's due for a world championship run. And I would like to see that happen, especially, you know, a promo battle bef between him and Cody Rhodes, I think will be awesome. But what I think is going to happen is the thing that they're telling us is going to happen. Drew McIntyre is going to win Money in the Bank and then cash in on Damian Priest later that night. Now, does he win the world championship? That's the thing that I'm really curious about. And we'll get into that when we get to the World Heavyweight Championship match. The undisputed WWE Champion teams with Randy Orton and Kevin Owens taking on the Bloodline. If I had to bet, the representatives for the Bloodline will be Solo Sokoa, Tonga, Gavol, Tong, the Tongans. <laughs> uh, tongue twister right there. So I think they will represent the, the Bloodline. Jacob Fatu will either not be there at all because I don't know if he can travel to Canada because he's a felon or he'll be sitting ringside and then maybe he helps the bloodline win somehow but it feels like the bloodline's going to win this match I don't know why I mean actually I do know why because I think Solo Sokoa is going to face Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam so if the ways to get to that is by having the bloodline win and so Sokoa can hey, say hey I beat you at Money in the Bank and now I'm going to beat you at SummerSlam something Roman Reigns couldn't do you know and then that's going to eventually lead to the monster return of Roman Reigns but yeah dude like if I look at this match it just feels like a bloodline win the real question I have is does Randy Orton turn heel after this match say Cody gets pinned by Solo and he starts looking disheveled and then Randy Orton RKO's him and starts blaming him for losing the match for their team now the thing is when does Randy Orton get his championship match now Bash in the, at Berlin Bash in Berlin whatever that show is called I think that's like a few weeks after SummerSlam so I guess they could do it there but yeah, my fish, long story short, Bloodline's going to win this match. And then what I am presuming will be the main event of the show, the World Heavyweight Championship match with the defending champion Damian Priest taking on the former champion Seth freaking Rollins. So I said earlier that Damian Priest was going to win. And now I'm... I was thinking like, no, Seth Rollins is going to win. But my official prediction is Damian Priest. Because you got the stipulation that Seth Rollins cannot challenge for the world championship again as long as Damian Priest is champion. But what if he's only champion for like five more minutes after that? But you know what? Nah, think about it. I think there's a better story 
of CM Punk. <laughs> screwing Drew McIntyre out of the money in the bank. Or screwing him out of his money in the bank cash in. By having the cash in. And then screwing over Drew McIntyre. Maybe like grabbing his foot again like he did in that number one contender match. At the Raw after WrestleMania. And Damian Priest hits the South of Heaven chokeslam again and beats Drew McIntyre. I mean, that would be pure comedy right there. And now I think about it, that's kind of what I want to happen. I mean, could I see Seth Rollins winning? Yeah, because him and Gunther would be a huge match at SummerSlam. And maybe Drew cashes in on Seth. I mean, he has history with Seth Rollins as much as he has history with Damian Priest. Actually, he has a longer history with Seth. Either way, I think Damian Priest is going to win. Because I think SummerSlam, you got enough things going on. But then again, like, the World Championship matches are going to be Cody Rhodes and Solo Sokoa. And then Damian Priest versus Gunther. You know, no offense to Damian or Solo. But it doesn't sound like big matches, you know. Like, big main event matches. Either way. Way well, I don't think Drew McIntyre is going to have a successful cash-in. I think CM Punk is going to screw him over, and it's going to be hilarious. And I think it's, does Punk wrestle at SummerSlam? Because, I mean, for a guy his age to have an injury like that, I don't know if he can come back in six or seven months, you know? It'd be impressive if he, if he did, and he said his rehab was going really good. Yeah, I I think Damian Priest wins. And that's your Money in the Bank predictions, guys. Thank you if you made it to the end of this video. Uh, one quick thing I want to say. Thank you, guys. Three straight episodes of the Trainwreck podcast have hit over 100 views. Never had that before. So I, I want to say thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys have fun watching Money in the Bank. The Toronto crowd, I'm expecting a lot out of you guys. I think you guys have the potential to be just as good as the France and Scotland crowds. And I think this show will be electric. So thank you guys. Made it to this video. Have a great day.